Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Let's talk about 22 reasons to drink water and what it really does to the body. Go ahead and thumbs up the video right now because I'm giving you information that is completely free that will, should actually change your life for the better, for your health. I am not a doctor, but I considered being a doctor and uh, I was actually approached uh, in college to actually major in a STEM major because I was in a STEM class and another student turned to me and asked me a question about in the class about the subject matter and so then I being the studious kid that I was uh, turned to the student and then explained everything almost that the uh, professor had been explaining uh, the entire uh, semester it just so happened that the actually department head of the entire college, meaning it was a university and this was the uh, guy over the entire STEM college, science college, happened to be substituting the uh, substitute teaching that day. And when he heard me give this uh, explanation to the other student, he asked me what I was majoring in because, of course, I was foreign to him. He had never seen me. And I said, I was majoring in pre-law. And he said, why don't you consider a STEM major? You can still go to law school with a STEM degree. But being the foolish kid that I was, I uh, decided not to. Anyway, I've been keeping track of all things scientific. And specifically, I've been keeping track of communicable diseases all this time, all, the, all these years. I have uh, fatal levels of uh, blood, high blood pressure. And my heart's perfect but I have fatal levels of high blood pressure, something like 200 and something over 180 something. It's, it's crazy. I'm on several medications just to keep it down. And what's really crazy is because I concentrate so much on my own nutrition, they don't understand why when they get all of my blood tests back, I am a perfect being. I have even, with niacin, broadened up my HDL levels over and above what what they used to be uh, before, the doctor was literally uh, jumping up and cheering and saying, you're perfect. I don't understand how you have high blood pressure. I do, but I won't tell you that. That's another video. So let's get into it. You're about 70% water. And get this, the earth is about 70% water. Now, there's other periodicals that have been written that says you're 65%, that men are 60 60% and women are 55%, but the actual consensus, uh, I hate to use that word in, in science, is that 70% is the actual number. Water vapor is 90% of greenhouse gases, not carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide helps plants grow, which reduces greenhouse uh, greenhouse gases and pollution so the very thing that we're trying to reduce is the very thing that will actually contribute to pollution and greenhouse gases in fact the bigger the tree the bigger and taller the tree the more it does to remove pollution from its local environment uh, i uh, w did do a year of Masters in Public Administration, which is city planning. Uh, my concentration, my concentration was in hospital administration. So there you go. More, right? I'm continuing the medical, uh, medical stuff. Uh, and it would behoove people to put a whole bunch of trees next to the zone of your industrial, light industrial and heavy industrial uh, complexes. So that that would be that would go way further ahead than all of the other stuff that they try and do. But uh, of course, city planners are 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 awful. Uh, I'm not a city planner. Water makes your hair, skin, and nails healthy. It is literally the basis for it. So if you have bad hair, skin, and nails, now you know what to do. Water makes your teeth healthy. Water makes your teeth healthy. Water digest in 10 minutes, no matter what else you're eating or drinking. So if you are having a dinner, full meal, and you're full, and while you're eating this dinner, 
you have a glass of water, the glass of water is going to pass through the stomach almost immediately. 10 minutes doesn't mean 10 minutes. 10 minutes digestion in the human body starts from the mouth all the way to the stomach, right? All, all the way to the very end, but it starts in the mouth. So a lot of, I think it's Buddhist monks say, keep the water in your mouth if you're dehydrated because it'll be absorbed in the mouth and then swallow it. Water provides oxygen to your cells. It also lubricates your circulatory system, which then helps deliver all of the nutrients through the red blood cells, right? Food provides hydration too. Sometimes food cravings are simply you being dehydrated. Losing weight by drinking water removes the food cravings that occur from just being dehydrated. Do you understand? So let me explain. So you are dehydrated. The body says, I'm hungry. If anything else, I'm hungry. Yes, I'm thirsty, but I'm hungry. You drink something. You drink a Coke or something like that, which does not hydrate you at all. Then the body says, I'm hungry. Then you go and start eating food. Well, the body says, okay, I got hydration from the food. So I'm going to tell the brain I'm hungry the next time I feel dehydrated. And so you repeat the cycle, repeat the cycle. And what happens? You end up getting fat and obese, right? So if you were to drink water, just water, it would eliminate the body saying I'm hungry. And the body would only say I'm hungry when it's actually hungry, right? When it actually needs nutrition and energy and so forth. Uh, and that's what we, that's why we eat for nutrition and energy. You should only drink about eight ounces of water in one sitting. Eight ounces of water. Drinking more than eight ounces in one sitting has a very high chance that you're just going to pee out the excess water. So remember, it only takes 10 minutes, right? Actually, it's zero to 10 minutes, right? So you, you have the water in your mouth. It's already being absorbed into the body. Let's say you drink a 16 ounce bottle of water. If you drink all 16 ounces, there's a very high chance that eight of it is just going to be, uh, make you go to the bathroom, right? Men need more water than women. The body doesn't care about what you consider to be a man or a woman. Men need more water. Men need more protein. Men need more carb carbohydrates. They need more, more, more nutrition than women. The insistence that men and women are the same, first of all, is crazy and is actually life threatening including veganism and vegetarianism as men need the nutrition found only in meats and organ meat. To be perfect, you would drink eight ounces of water once every two hours. Water boosts your metabolism. That's a big word. If you don't know it, it means that it boosts your energy burning process. Energy burning process meaning that it will ultimately help you lose weight. So it boosts your metabolism, which makes you burn energy more and more efficiently. Water boosts your digestion. The very act of drinking the water with the big meal will help you digest the big meal. Water boosts your immune system. Very big. All of your lymph nodes, all of that is all included in your immune system. All of that, and it lubricates all of that stuff, right? Humans are supposed to be healthy and naturally thin from birth to death. You, if you breed animals at all, dogs, cats, horses, and the whole point of it is you're going to breed the animal and at some point sell it, right? Or, or sell some factor of the animal. You're going to take pictures of the animal and you want your animal that you're breeding to be the average animal, right? The average animal has a look to it. This is why we say that is a fat cat because it is abnormal to regular cats, right? 
same thing with skinny cats, skinny dogs, right? Humans are animals. Humans have a regular size to them, a, a, a natural size to them, an everyday average size to them. And that size is actually pretty thin from birth to death. Water makes your muscles healthy. Water removes toxins from your body. A lot of time toxins will appear on the body by increasing the body mass, i.e. making you look fat. Oh, so just being fat should be an all-out indicator that something is wrong. Stopping all water and fluid consumption two hours before bedtime would remove the risk of waking up at night and breaking your sleep, right? And this, a lot of people don't understand. It's not that you wake up and then go to the bathroom. It is that your body says, okay, I've digested the water that was in your system. Time to wake up. It's, it's the same notion of, I fell and broke my hip. No, the doctors are now telling you that you broke your hip and then you fell, N not the reverse. So you had to go to the bathroom and then you woke up. It's not that you woke up and then had to go to the bathroom. The adult per or the mature human being has a system to say, wake up, we need to go to the bathroom, right? Children uh, might not have that. <laughs> Children go to a stage where they have to learn that, right? Water returns you to your correct human side. Even the diseases that make people put on weight only puts on a, at most, at most 20% more than your ideal weight, which means you would physically look nearly like your ideal weight. Being fat or obese is an indication of poor health and an out of control eating habit with proof from your body that something is tragically wrong. That includes toxins, an out of control eating habit, an out of control eating habit. Even if you were to eat burgers and pizza, but you still had regular human activity, you would just be what they call skinny fat, right? You'll be skinny in the arms, skinny in the legs, but you have a, a, a pouchy gut. If you had an out of control eating habit, meaning you consumed a ton of calories, you're going to bloat up. And a lot of times uh, the people who appear to be fat are actually just bloated. And what would cure that bloating? Drinking water. A lot of people think, oh, oh if I, I drink less water. If I take I, if I take this water pill, it'll help me. No, drinking more water. I'm not your doctor, but drinking more water would go a long way to actually reducing the bloating. Because then your body would then be used to being hydrated and then would efficiently handle the water intake. So water is the key in that equation. Removing the water does not help that equation. You're bloating because of some inefficiency in the body, right? And uh, if you were to, I'm not giving you medical advice here. If you were to fast and only drink water, let's say you fasted 23 hours a day and this for one hour, eight, drinking water, you know, four, four ounces every hour, right? What did that say? Eight ounces at one sitting and do it every two hours. So four ounces every hour would help you stave off a lot of food cravings and a lot of hunger craving. And then you get your nutrition in that one hour and make sure it's a completely nutritious meal. It would literally make your belly flat. Literally. There's, there's, there's no secret to it. There's no magic to it. You don't even have to exercise. Oh my God. So what was it? The one meal a day? That's what it's called, right? Drinking the four ounces of water every hour, every waking hour, except for before you go to bed, right? So make absolutely sure that your one meal a day occurs four hours before you go to bed. And it would probably good to stop actually drinking water four hours before you went to bed also. 
so you're not in the process of digesting the water and getting the water through your system. Thank you all for watching. I hope this educational video would benefit you. I, I care about you. And remember, water boosts the immune system.